Hi everyone, it's Sarah, and it's Monday's New Hope, and today we're talking about the eating disorder identity and sort of stepping outside of that identity so that you can grow into something more. And I think that that phenomena of um, having the eating disorder consume everything you are to the point where you don't know if you're anything else is very, very common, and I think it's probably one of the defining criteria of a pathological dysfunctional eating disorder, like one that is full-fledged and ruining your life kind of thing. Um, it's the distinction that I make between an eating disorder and s disordered eating, um, which is another discussion altogether. But it's very, very common, and you're not alone in it for sure, and a lot of times people will complain that they don't know who they are outside of their eating disorder. Um, and that's probably one of the most intimidating aspects of recovery, but probably also one of the most rewarding. Um, and it's possible. It's actually probably one of, in my opinion, one of the easier aspects of recovery in that it's exciting and it's motivational and it's, you know, it's it's something that's more beautiful than ugly, and something that is more exciting than dreadful. Um, and I think that a lot of people get worried that if you take the eating disorder away, they'll have nothing left, and I get that. So this is the way that it gets done so that that doesn't happen, and I've copied this from someone else on the channel, like way, way back when. Um, so this is someone, this is my diagram. This is someone who has a eating disorder that's full-fledged and that is just consuming and ruining their lives. The eating disorder takes up most of who they are. And then through opportunities and growth and self-discovery and developing hobbies and developing interests and values, the eating disorder starts to take up less and less of who they are until you get to the point where eventually you've crowded out the eating disorder with everything that you're learning and that is that you're growing into. You get to the point where we're not taking away anything from you. You're just choosing different things other than the eating disorder. And there's just no room left for the eating disorder. Um, you know, how does my how did my eating disorder affect who I am today? Um, well who am I now? I'm someone with a very sturdy set of values. I've had to be because recovery does call into question your values a lot of the time. Um, you know, what's important, what's not important. I know that now, and I'm fairly young to know that. Um, you know, it has helped me develop into a more open, non judgmental person. It has affected my interests. It's, you know, helps dictate my values and my core beliefs, and it's it's just, it's made me who I am today. Um, you know, for example, my interests are, you know, I, my life's work, I want to end up being a nurse practitioner and learning how the body works and how best we can maximize this potential. And I want to be someone who can teach people to live in harmony with their bodies because it's a lesson that I learned in such a brutal, brutal way. Um, you know, I, all my hobbies are very, very active, uh, they're very spiritual, I love horseback riding, I love yoga, I just, you know, I like swimming, I'm very active, I, you know, one of the things, or one of the goals that I have in my life, um, that's a constant through everything that I do is purpose, and it's because I know what a life of purposelessness is. And I know what a life without purpose is. Like, I know how much of a drive that can be on you. And like how um, I've learned to appreciate that purpose is something you have to value and something you have to nurture and something that you have to just be willing to let grow. Um, and I know what it means to not be healthy, so I want to constantly strive to be healthier. I want to be active, I want to be, you know, 
well nourished and so my eating disorder has not so much affected my personality per se but it's definitely affected my core beliefs, my values, you know, my goals and my interests and that kind of thing. My eating disorder um, has helped me. There are different ways that it's helped me. Um, one of the ways that it's helped me is that it brought the position or the, the place and time where everything is so, so wrong that it has to be made right, right away. It brought that to me a lot closer in my life, to my youth, than if I hadn't had an eating disorder. If I hadn't had an eating disorder, the issues that, you know, fueled the eating disorder would likely still be issues in my 50s. And because I had the opportunity to have that rock bottom brought to me a lot closer in my youth, I managed to deal with the issues a lot faster. And I managed to develop core beliefs that are in keeping with a more resilient lifestyle, to develop, you know, values that, you know, correlate and work well with my life of purpose. Um, it's helped bring everything to a head a lot faster so that I didn't have to deal with it later. Um, the other thing that it did to help me was that it helped me communicate. Um, when I couldn't, and that's probably one of the hugest obstacles I've ever had to overcome, is getting to a point where I no longer needed it as a, man, a means of communication, and that it needed to be discarded for that. Um, but at the time, you know, every professional that came across me, you know, were you sexually abused? Were you sexually abused? Were you sexually abused? We know you were, we just don't know when or where or whatever. And I was, and that was a huge, huge, huge deal in my recovery, and my eating disorder helped communicate that very, very quickly to the professionals around me. It helped me communicate that I was very uncomfortable in my body, that it didn't feel safe, that it didn't feel good, and that I really, really despised myself to the point where I was willing to die. Um, you know, does it influence who I am now? Yes and no. I don't think it's influenced my personality. I think that that's the core sort of long-standing static almost, but still changing. I don't, it's just, it's not something that... My eating disorder has definitely affected my beliefs, my values, my interests, and that kind of thing. And in that, it has influenced who I am. But my personality, I think the eating disorder has definitely tried to diminish that. Um, you know, I'm very, very funny when I want to be. Um, very, very outgoing when I want to be. And the eating disorder really, really put a damper on a lot of that. But at the same time, it helped nurture a, a sense of insight that's unparalleled to people my age. Um, it helped me develop, you know, a sense of not being judgmental. So, in certain aspects of it, my eating disorders influenced my personality, but at the same time, it it kind of was in conflict with a lot of aspects of my personality. And as such, getting rid of the eating disorder and being through eating disorder recovery has started to sort of nurture that back, um, but in a way that is in keeping with the good things that I've learned from eating disorder. What strength did I gain? Um, just basically the strength to know that it's all going to be okay. Um, if you can live life with an eating disorder, then you can live life without one just fine, trust me. You'll be great at it. Um, and, you know, when someone says, you know, you're in recovery, what does that mean? To me, it means I'm still learning. To me, it means I've conquered a lot. To me, it means I'm a survivor. I'm resilient. To me, it means that I still have something to learn. Um, it means that I'm vulnerable, and I need to be aware of that. It means 
it just it means so many different things in so many different contexts and I could go on forever but I won't um, so I hope you have a really wonderful week and I hope everything goes well and take care see you next week